Hello YouTube, for your reviewing pleasure today on Limited Run Kits Corner, I have a sword production of the Curtis SO3C Simu. This is in 172nd scale, so let's take a look and see what we get in the box. Taking a look here on the end, we basically get the information just saying, caution, this is a model kit, contains small parts. Here on the end we have kit number 72003. Basic just production information about sword, and then the other fold out tab is the same. Back of the box is blank, so let's take a look and see what comes in this kit. So, pulling it out here, we have our instruction sheet, which is where we'll start. So, we have the basic information on the Curtis Model 82 Simu or Seagull, depending on marking options. So Pause there if you'd like, and then start in with the construction. So actually to come down here to the bottom at first, just to make a little bit uh, more <laughs> easy way of looking at it. So we have different callouts. We have V for vac form, we have the M for metal parts, P for plastic, R for resin, and then obviously question mark is your options. Um, the one thing to note, if you happen to notice here, is none of the parts minus the metal ones have uh, part numbers. So kind of have to watch that, especially uh, when it comes to a few of the parts, just to make sure you grab the right ones. So starting off here, cockpit, putting the instrument panel on, the harnesses in, then we come over here for the radar antenna, putting the machine gun on the back section as well, seat for the radio operator slash rear gunner. Uh, this is actually a float plane, as you might have noticed on the box art, and so we do have the main center floats, and then the two outer wing floats. Buttoning up the fuselage. Now this does have a very open nose, so you have two of the cylinders uh, basically shown to show through the front cowling there. Or the front air intake, I should say. And then... Continuing on, you have a couple of different options here, so check your marking options for which one you're going to do. Uh, you can either do it with the actual wheel landing gear, or you can have it with the floats. Personally, when I build this, I will be doing the floats, kind of like the old uh, float planes. And then we come to our marking options. So we have the Seagull from the USS Denver in January of 1943. Get that up and into focus there for you. And then we have one here, which is for the FAA um, with uh, 755 Squadron, which would be the Royal Navy. So, a couple of different marking options. In fact, I think there was a... Nope, that was... Uh, yep, that is the Royal Navy. Um, just to note what uh, reason why I came back to this, if you notice... Marking option up there at the top, the coloring is not quite right in that. Just kind of threw me when I seen that. So taking a look here, start off up here, we have the vac form canopy. So this will actually be one of the first or one of the few kits that I have that have a vac form canopy. Do have also the decal sheet. So yeah, pretty basic, not really a whole lot of markings on that. Photo etch sheet, which is pretty thin. Uh, it's not like the really thick, heavy duty. And then resin parts. So you have a one piece cockpit here. Just have to cut the uh, bottom base off of that. You have the rear gunner section and the radio area. And then you have the front with the two engine pots. So. A little bit of wiring detail probably wouldn't hurt that much. Just to do a little bit more detail, especially seeing that those are visible in the very front. And then you get into the main kit itself. So, uh, main floats, you have your wings. Come to the inside, pretty barren, a little bit of, in, of uh, detail on the side walls, but pretty much all going to be just in the actual resin pieces. Um, as you can see, the ejector pins are protruding an extreme amount, so you'll definitely have to cut those out. And that even includes into the wings themselves. So just check your fits. 
Um, so that is about it. Now, one other thing, as I have a couple of extra moments here, I do actually know that they have released for this kit a quick frames. If I can grab that out very quickly here. If not, then I will. There we are. So, uh, Montex actually produced a mini mask set for this kit. So that would be item code 7216. And you have it for the wheels and the actual canopy itself. So um, if you're not that confident with your ability to mask, especially seeing that it is vac form, uh, that is an option. So that would be an inbox review of the Curtis SO3C Simu.